right there in Latin 2. Uh, I'm going to give you the assignment right now. Translate chapter 33. I'll wait. Okay, so now that you've translated it, here's the translation. Cornelius gives the signal to the handmaidens. Uh, let's see. Um, first, water is brought by the handmaidens, and the guests wash their hands, or wash hands. While they do this, um, wine sweetened with honey is given to all the guests. From there, serving dishes are brought, are brought out from the kitchen, on which is the first course. Uh, let's see, eggs and black olives, uh, asparagus and mushrooms sprinkled with fish sauce. Meanwhile, uh, many stories are told by the guests much about uh, the goings-on of the city is said, uh, or many things are said about the, the affairs of the city. Some, from, uh, some talk about uh, the fires, or some tell stories about the fires, uh, or rather, Alius, one tells a story about the fires. Another, uh, about the plague in the city. That was actually a pretty common thing. It would just crop up. So uh, interesting that we're talking about that right now, since I can't tell you in person. Uh, another about the amphitheater. Uh, a uh, Which uh, soon will be... Uh, a, a large building which soon will be dedicated. Uh... Everyone is delighted to hear something of new. And I want you to translate that as something of new. While the guests uh, are telling these things and many others, the first course is eaten and wine sweetened with honey is drunk. Then the guests, or I'm sorry, then the slaves carry away the first course. From there, by the same slaves, a large serving tray is brought into the living, the dining room. Uh, in it is placed uh, on the middle table. Um, on it, it being the the tray, uh, is a huge pig, and around the pig uh, are the dormice which um, Aurelia had bought. The, the goblets of the guests uh, are filled by some of the slaves with the best wine. While the guests watch these things, uh, a huge uproar is heard outside of the dining room. Suddenly, uh, Titus Cornelius bursts into the dining room with a loud noise. Now, I'm going pretty slow for you so that you can see all the passives being used properly. Okay, a lot of them are present tense because it's giving the idea of being there. Uh, the guests mutter, uh, why is our Titus accustomed to come late and not ever excuse himself? But Titus, walking slowly to his spot, uh, notice Ambulans there, uh, says, hello, all friends. Uh, hello, my brother. Uh, I, I met a friend, a certain friend, in an eating house. Gaius, although he is very angry, or most angry, uh, however, says nothing because he does not wish to uh, scold his brother at this time. Immediately, uh, he gave the signal to the slaves. Then some out of these, uh, the slaves, uh, were cutting the pig. Some were carrying the meat to the guests. Uh, not everyone was given uh, from the pig, or was given scrap. Uh, was yeah, some pork was not given to uh, to everyone. Um, indeed, uh, clients were given scraps of chicken. So meat is pretty expensive, right? Uh, so the better the meat, the the higher up the guests are. So there's a whole hierarchy here. Gaius says to the slave, boy, uh, give to my brother 
Uh, also, the scraps of chicken. Uh, do not give to him from the pig, uh, or don't don't give him pork. Um, now everyone is was having food and wine. Everyone was praising the dinner. Uh, even the clients, although they only were having scraps, notice it's not in vain, it's scraps, right? Uh, together with the rest were shouting, Hooray Gaius, or Yay Gaius, Yay Gaius Cornelius, uh, or Yay, Gaius Cornelius is accustomed to giving or, or to give the best dinner. No one has a better cook. Uh, shouldn't we praise uh, the cook himself? And so the cook, having been called by everyone, was praised. Uh, at last, the serving trays were carried away by the slaves. At the same time, Gaius ordered the slaves uh, to carry the uh, second tables, or the desserts, into the dining room. The slaves, although they were tired, uh, were running here and there. Uh, grapes, apples, pears uh, were carried into the dining room. Uh, also, uh, a raisin wine, having been placed on the table, uh, was given to everyone. There you go. That's the story. So now check your translation against that. Okay. When you're done, do exercise 33A. It's on both pages, uh, 49 and 50. And at this point, I don't think I have to give you examples of how to do it. You know how to do that, okay? So do 33A. All right, I'm going to hit the button.